so much to learn about. It'll make you wanna shout, Blippi! Everybody, take ten steps back. We're gonna launch in three, two, woo! that paint can shoot up like a rocket? Yeah! Whoa! Hi, I'm Blippi. Hi. What's your name? I'm Emily Calandrelli. Nice to meet you. Well, it's so nice to meet you, Emily. <laughs> that was an amazing experiment you did. Right? Do you think you could teach us how to do it? I would love to. <laughs> awesome! <laughs> well, wait a minute. Emily, how do you know how to do a science experiment like that? I'm an aerospace engineer. Whoa! An aerospace engineer? I know engineers build bridges and roads, but what does an aerospace engineer do? Well, aerospace means I studied how things fly through the air. Like an airplane? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> and like that paint can. Mm -hmm. And fly through space. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. Well, I definitely want to try this experiment. <laughs> Let's go! Flippy, are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready too? <laughs> yeah, awesome! Okay, well, what do we need to do the experiment? We are going to need baking soda. Oh, okay, some baking soda. Mm -hmm. And? Some vinegar. Whoa! Ooh, ooh. <laughs> That's kind of smelly. <laughs> Whoa! And a paint can? And a paint can, that's okay. right. Whoa! Wait a minute, well, why will we need vinegar and baking soda to do this experiment? Well, baking soda is our base, vinegar is our acid. When we mix the two together, you kickstart an acid-based chemical reaction that creates carbon dioxide bubbles. Bubbles? Yeah! <laughs> Wait, and then the bubbles build up pressure so it launches the paint can like a rocket! Woo! Exactly, exactly. <laughs> okay, well, I think we're ready to start the experiment. What's the first step? Okay, so first you're going to want to put your baking soda in the paint can. Just pour it all in. Okay, here, can you help me? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> here we go! Woohoo! It's snowing! <laughs> snowing in the paint can. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> it's a little messy doing Wait. science experiments. <laughs> okay, now you want to put your vinegar in this cup very carefully. Oh, and then we put the cup inside. Exactly. Mm, okay, yes. Here we go. Don't want to spill any on the baking soda before it goes in. <laughs> yes, be very careful. We don't want to kickstart the acid-based chemical reaction too soon. So just softly nestle it into the baking soda, just like that, exactly, exactly. Whoa. <laughs> yes. Looks pretty steady. Perfect. Now for the fun part. Okay. <laughs> We're going to hammer on the lid. Oh, that's why you were hammering before. <laughs> exactly. Okay, here we go. Is this okay? Yep, perfect. And Emily, you want to hammer some? Absolutely. You need to put a little bit of oomph behind Whoa. it. Whoa, that's some oomph. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think it's ready. Yeah! Okay, and now we just flip it over. Exactly. Okay, everyone, take 10 steps back. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Three, two, one. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Flippy, do you want to see what was going on inside the paint can? Oh, that would be awesome! <laughs> yeah, we saw it launch like a rocket, but I want to see those carbon dioxide bubbles. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> okay. okay, so what do we need to do? We can make them right here. So we have vinegar, that's our acid, and we have baking soda, that's our base. Mm. So what we're going to do is add our food coloring first because everything is more fun in color. Whoa. We'll give you blue. And you have orange. I have orange. <laughs> yeah. Huh, I wonder why we're using those two colors. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they might be your favorite. Yeah. So go ahead and add a few drops just like that. And Whoa. let's stir it in. Okay. Give it a good stir. Now in one of these, <laughs> I'm going to add some soap. My hypothesis is that the soap is going to trap those carbon dioxide bubbles and make this one a bit more frothy and soapy. Whoa. Hey. Have you heard the word hypothesis before? Yeah, it's a really long word for basically a guess. <laughs> and Emily, I think you made a really good guess. <laughs> I think so. Let's test it out though. Okay. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Ready? Three, two, one. Whoa! 
Check it out! Look, do you see how mine looks a little bit more frothy? Whoa. That's the soap trapping those carbon dioxide bubbles. Yeah, it looks like yours has a lot of teeny bubbles, and I have really big bubbles! Exactly. <laughs> Whoa, that's cool. And Emily, we used this experiment using cups. Mm -hmm. Could we use a different container? Absolutely, we could. Oh, what about that water bottle? This <laughs> would be Perfect. Huh. I wonder how the bubbles will shoot out of that. <laughs> I know. My hypothesis is, is because this one is going from a large area to a small area, it's going to shoot up faster and maybe go a little higher. Hmm. Another good guess. We got to test it. <laughs> oh, and what color should we make this? Well, my favorite color is pink. Ooh. Can we make it pink? Yeah, let's make it pink. <laughs> okay. oh. One, two, three. There we go. Stir that in. Whoa. It's like a pinky red color. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's gonna be some fun bubbles. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to pour it in and let's see what happens. <laughs> let's test that hypothesis. Okay, get ready. These are gonna be some big bubbles. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Your it hypothesis did. was right. It shot up higher, didn't yeah. it? That was great. Whoa, that was really cool. Bubble launch! Woo now it looks so pink. Look at that. Whoa. Yeah, we have some pink, and we have some orange, and some blue. Woo! Look, Emily! We have a fun little elephant in some blue water just taking a bubble bath. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Hmm. We tried a cup and a water bottle. What if we try something a little bit silly? Okay. <laughs> what did you have in mind? An orange! <laughs> Let's try it. Yeah, I love the color orange, and I love eating the fruit in orange. <laughs> okay, so we have an orange, Ooh, and there's some baking soda inside, and here's some vinegar for okay, you. Okay, thank you. And this one, I want to be extra silly, so let's make the vinegar green. Ooh, I like it. We haven't done green yet. Whoa! <laughs> Perfect. I'm going to stir that up. All right, let's see what this one looks like. Okay. I I'm, don't know what it's going to look like. I'm going to try to hold it. My hypothesis is that this is going to be messy. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. Go! Whoa! 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 It's so fizzy! <laughs> Whoa, Emily, that was awesome! That was great! Whoa, yeah. Look at that. So many bubbles. Those carbon dioxide bubbles went everywhere. Well, that's a great acid-base chemical reaction mm -hmm. right there. <laughs> well, this was some fun experimenting. Mm -hmm. Do you think we could do another one? I think so. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go clean up my hand. <laughs> Flippy, are you ready for the next experiment? Mm -hmm. I'm really excited, but I think we should take a little break first. And look, a swing set! <laughs> Let's on. go! Woo! <laughs> Whoa, I just love swinging. <laughs> uh, but Emily, yeah. is there something scientific about swinging? Oh my gosh, yes, there's science all around us. With Whoa. swings, gravity is bringing us back down, and our legs are giving us momentum to bring Ooh. us back up. <laughs> yeah, and my legs are really strong from dancing, so I can go really high on the swing! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Whoa, good thing we have gravity to bring me back down, <laughs> or else I might fly all the way to the moon. Woo, <laughs> that would be fun. <laughs> Whoa, yeah. <laughs> Astronaut Flippy, here I come! Woohoo! <laughs> oh! Oh, Emily, I have an idea. Follow me! <laughs> okay. Here we go. so much fun taking a break. But Emily, I'm ready for another experiment. All right, we are going to make oobleck. Oobleck, fun. Yes. Oobleck is a non-Newtonian fluid and all you need for this, you can make this at home, is two parts cornstarch to one part water. Ooh. So let's go ahead and mix those in. Wow. Put your cornstarch in here. Okay. Go ahead. Cornstarch. Just like so. Good, <laughs> oh, good. It's snowing. <laughs> Whoa. Now, Add your water. Okay. Just like that. And you're gonna wanna just get your hands in here. <laughs> Whoa! 
this was really fun mixing it up with your hands. And you said it was a non-Newtonian fluid? Yes, Whoa. so a non-Newtonian fluid is just a special name for a fluid that doesn't follow the normal fluid rules. Oh uh, yeah, so a normal solid has its own shape and a normal liquid or a fluid takes the shape of whatever container it's in. So if you have water in a cup, the water is shaped like the cup. <laughs> exactly, but oobleck, because it's a non-Newtonian fluid, sometimes acts like a liquid, but it sometimes acts like a solid, <laughs> depending on what we do to it. Oh, whoa, so are there other kinds of non-Newtonian liquids? Exactly, so one you might be familiar with is ketchup. Ketchup, yum! <laughs> I love that on my french fries. <laughs> <laughs> and when you're trying to get ketchup out of the bottle, what do you usually do? Mm, you normally need to tap the end of it a little bit. <laughs> exactly, because ketchup, when you hit it, when you add force to it, it acts more like a liquid. Oh! <laughs> and when you don't hit it, when you're not doing anything, to it, it acts mm -hmm. more like a solid and it's harder to get out of that glass bottle. Whoa, that's so interesting how it can be a solid sometimes or a liquid sometimes. Exactly, just <laughs> like Ublek. So watch this, when you squeeze it together, squeeze, 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 it acts like a ball. Whoa. But watch this, as soon as I stop squeezing it, it acts like a liquid flowing through my fingers. Whoa, it melts! <laughs> that's so cool! Whoa, and why is it called a non-Newtonian fluid? Yeah, That's a long name. <laughs> that is a long name. So Isaac Newton was a physicist and a mathematician, and Whoa. he set up some rules for fluids, and this doesn't really follow them. Mm -mm. It likes to break the rules. <laughs> yeah, and I've heard of Isaac Newton. That's so cool that he named this fluid. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, oh, I have an idea. How about you make a little ball again, and I think our friend Mr. Elephant wants to play in the Oobleck. <laughs> Here we go! Woo! Uh oh! Whoa. He's getting stuck! <laughs> well, that's okay. Yeah, if he just moves around a lot, he doesn't get stuck. See? He's exactly. just walking in over the oobleck. <laughs> if he stomps on the oobleck, he can stay on top. Look! Stomp, stomp, stomp! Stomp, stomp, stomp! <laughs> yeah, but if he's not stomping, he'll sink like water. Here we go! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Black. <laughs> well, it looks like Mr. Elephant needs to go take another bubble bath. <laughs> Woo. Emily, this ooh like is super fun. Woo <laughs> <laughs> okay, Blippi, now that you know how Oobleck works, I have a surprise for you. You have a surprise for me? Well, yep. where is it? Go ahead and slide down that slide. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> See you at the bottom. Woo! <laughs> Black, this is ooh, Blippy. <laughs> Blippy, that's a corny joke. A corn starchy joke. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> I had so much fun today, and it's so cool learning about non Newtonian fluids how they can be liquids, woo, or <laughs> solids. <laughs> oh, Emily, I had so much fun doing science experiments. Would you like a really big hug? Mm, maybe later, Blippi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> I get that. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. <laughs> hey, can you spell my name with us? Okay, here we go. Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. <laughs> Blippi, good job. Well, I'll see you later. I need to get out of this oobleck. Woo! Ah! <laughs> <laughs>